Welcome to this demonstration of creating reusable fragments for extensions with Oracle Visual Builder Studio. My name is Shai Schmelzer. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how to create a fragment, how to set up the fragment for reusability, how to publish the fragment, and then how to install and reuse the fragment in other extensions that you're creating for Oracle Fusion applications. We'll start in a workspace where we can create a new fragment. You provide a name for the fragment and you can also indicate where it's going to be used. We're going to create the AMP search fragment, which can be used as a page content or as a base for another page. You're then going to be taken into the visual editor where you're going to design your page. Just like the development of any complete page, developing fragment is a matter of dragging and dropping components and services onto the page to create the user interface that you want. We're going to use an input search component bounded to a new variable uh, that will have our search var value. And then we're going to connect to a REST service coming from the Oracle Fusion application HCM module. So we'll use the catalog to browse our REST services endpoint. We're going to locate the uh, endpoints for employees and we're going to add those to our fragments. Now that the service has been added, we can go back into the user interface designer and use the data palette to pick up this service endpoint and drag and drop it into the page to create a UI artifact. So we'll drag the employees into the page to create, for example, a table that would list our employees and their location. We're fetching the names of the columns from our Fusion application. We're going to use the display name column and then the city and country columns. We should also set the primary key for the employee. So we're going to use the person ID for that one. And we're going to use the filter criterion option to add a filtering of the display name based on the search variable that we've defined. We can set properties for the table. For example, we can set the scrolling mechanism or the scrolling options for the table. We're going to set the scroller to be HTML. And we can also see the fragment basically working in live mode where we can type a name and search for employees with that name. So now that our fragment is ready to be reused, we're going to set it up to be publishable and reusable. We're going to first click on the fragment itself and look at the settings tab where we have a checkbox to enable uh, this a fragment to be used by other extensions. We need to do the same thing for the REST service that the fragment is using. There's another checkbox over here that allows the service to be accessed from application extensions. Once we set up those two things, we can publish our extension fragment. So we'll provide a commit message and execute the publish operation. We need to provide the username and password for the environments onto which we're going to publish our extension. And this would kick off our uh, job for publishing the extension. Let's look at our job. We can see our job is running right now. And our job, of course, is part of a pipeline. So if we actually look at the pipeline, we can see the pipeline for the MPUtils packet uh, that is doing package and deploy steps. Okay. We'll wait a little bit for the packaging and the optimization to complete and then for the deployment step to actually deploy this onto our environment. Once our fragment has been deployed, we can use it in other extensions. So let's create a new application extension. We are going to provide again a name and we're going to map it to the same environment we just published our fragment to. So it would have access to that fragment. Our new application extension is opening in the visual editor. We can create a new app UI extension, provide again a name, and go over to design our page 
for this extension. Now on the left side there's a section here that allows you to see dependencies and you can add additional dependencies. We can see our fragments, the mputil fragments over here. So we'll click the add button to add a dependency on it. And at this point, we can now go over and add a fragment container to our page. If we're going to select a fragment now, our amp search fragment is going to show up because we added a dependency. We can select this one, add this to our page, and this would be reusable in this extension and in others as well. Let's add another button to our page just to distinct it from the actual fragment. So this is now our application extension and we can actually run it to see the extension reusing the fragment and allowing us to go over, get a list of employees and perform search on it. This is how easy it is to create reusable fragments that you can use across all sorts of application extensions that you're creating with Visual Builder Studio.